Hi everybody, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and we're going to be looking at a presentation that Richie and Gordon from Marmalade came to give to my eShop Success program mastermind that we do every Friday we do live masterminds and this one was about badges and how people click on the badges on Etsy and that's like the nudges, the free shipping, the best seller which one is best so let's go into this i'm going to go through their presentation that i have edited down tremendously there was a lot more information and i'll kind of get into some of that but we spent a couple hours talking about this so this is only a very small part of it and there's kind of a big takeaway so watch the whole thing because there's a lot to pick a part in here um so yeah we, we want to talk about flair today but also <laughs> uh, some other trends that we're seeing with shoppers and etsy seo okay so uh kind of to establish the baseline for some of the other information that we're, we're wanting to share down the road is how often are shoppers clicking things um that show up in the first page of search results we would probably expect it to be a pretty frequent amount, right? But does that change over time? Are there differences during different times of the year and things like that? This is looking at people who have made a purchase um, on Etsy. And for those people, when they're shopping on Etsy, how frequently are they clicking things on the first page of search? And it looks like it's on average, probably around 60% of the time is when they're clicking a listing, it's on the first page of results. Now, what I thought was interesting about this chart is how it changes during the holiday season. There's a pretty significant drop off when you're looking at like November and December, and even into January, right? They're not clicking things on the first page as much. And that's either an indication that they're not finding what they're hoping to find on the page, or they just want to look at more options before they're making a decision. Yeah, because of course, in an ideal world, right? You'd, you'd search something and then within the first few results, exactly what you want to buy is right there. All right. Now that was interesting. The most interesting thing is that it was that it said it was about 60%. Now they have data that I don't have. They have data that we can't get about who's actually buying stuff. So that's good to know. But I, I think that 60% of the first page being clicked on to buy something that's lower than I thought it was. And it's interesting that it does drop. And I think that their explanations are probably pretty accurate as far as the reasons why that happens. People are either shopping for different things, or it could be that they've come back to Etsy and Etsy showing them the same things. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's any number of reasons. And something that Richie did say in here is this. No, a lot of it's actually really difficult to make specific conclusions like linear conclusions about things just because there can be so many different stories to the mm -hmm. data and why different things are happening so yeah when we're going through this just keep in mind that there's any number of explanations for this stuff and we can never know 100 percent for sure because people basically want to make up a story for everything so when you see a set of stats you might think one thing somebody else might see it and think something else and then if someone else has a third perspective they might be able to shed some more light on it following the trend of just looking at the first page of search results so this is looking on page one, how often are people clicking listings that have a badge on them? And this is a breakdown of what that looks like. A couple of things with this, free shipping gets clicked a lot, right? Now, is that because people are, are adamant about only buying things with free shipping? Or is that because lots of things on Etsy have free shipping now because Etsy's made that push? That's something to keep in mind with this chart in particular. Um, but we're going to look at that a little bit down the road to try to figure out are, are these numbers where they are because of the frequency at which they show up? Or are these really how people feel about these different things? Do they really not care about popular now uh, and really care about free shipping or on sale? Right. Okay, I'm going to stop this here again. I think that's really important to think about because free shipping is something that Etsy was pushing for. So a lot of listings are going to be free shipping and they have said that they put things that are free shipping on the first page more often. So that could be why that free shipping badge shows up so much. And again, it could be that they're clicking on these things because they're on the first page and more of them had the free shipping. So you can't not click on free shipping. Yeah, let's just keep watching because it, it gets it gets a little more involved. The next thing we wanted to do with this breakdown is see what does this look like over time? Right. So how frequently are people clicking things over time? So we have that same time range that we're looking at here um, and we use the same colors. So uh, free shipping is still orange. Couple interesting things here. The star seller program started in September of 2021. And mm -hmm. so you can very obviously see that on this chart where the frequency of times that a star seller listing has been clicked has kind of ramped up over time. Now, that could be that more sellers are achieving the star seller status or it could be Etsy adjusting the parameters as they did kind of midway into releasing that program for what, what you need to do to be a star seller. That star seller chart 
it kind of levels off. So as Etsy was rolling it out, obviously fewer people had the badge. Then as pe more people get the badge and the whole thing, it's kind of leveling off. So it, it would have been zero to begin with because there wasn't a star seller badge for people to click on. So nobody would have been clicking on it. But you see that how it's kind of flat? I'm, I'm going to stop there, but let's let's keep going. Okay, so when we were talking before about does free shipping get clicked a ton because it shows up more or because people care about it more? So that's what we wanted to look at with the next graph. And so what we did is we took like a handful of different keywords and ran searches for those on Etsy uh, and then looked back and saw how many of the listings on page one incorporate these badges. Like how often do these things actually show up? And so... I guess, as you would probably expect, the best sellers and popular now is much less common to see than like free shipping or on sale. But it's it's interesting when you start looking at the differences between how often these things are being clicked on page one versus how often Etsy presents them on page one. What this chart would say to me is that Etsy highly values the star seller badge, but customers don't. It's not as compelling as Etsy thinks it is. It looks like the the blue, like the darker color, is the importance that Etsy puts on this and the lighter color is the importance that the consumer puts on it. And there's a little discrepancy there. Absolutely. And it's, yeah. it's all positioning search by search too, because if you put in a particular search and everything's on sale, then it's kind of the same as nothing's on sale, right? You're not yeah. drawn to any of them. If they're all free shipping, then okay, they're all free shipping. Like there's no differentiator. If everyone there is a star seller, then star seller is just another seller. Like yeah. there has to be some exclusivity. There has to be something that's going to position against the other, something that's going to pull you there. That's what I find interesting here is that, and you heard me say it, it looks to me, this is like percentages of when it shows up versus when people click on them. And it looks to me like even though the bestseller button isn't showing up as much, that bestseller nudge, and, and somebody said that the popular now was kind of the same thing as bestseller because they were clicking through to check these listings while we were doing this presentation. And it basically everything that said popular now had bestseller on it. But it could be that Etsy is experimenting with the language to see what works best. And it looks to me like out of all of these things, bestseller works the best to get people to click through. Now you might be saying, well, they're not clicking through that much. Look at it. But if you look at the proportions of like how often it's it's presented versus the percentage of times that it's clicked, it is clicked more often than like proportionally it's presented by Etsy, but people like it more and they're drawn to that more. So they're clicking on it more. Now, if you look at free shipping, it's like Richie said, if everything has free shipping on it, then it just becomes like a big nothing because people see that and they're like, everything says free shipping. So why do I even need to pay attention to that one? Now, this is a weird thing, but the star sell, it's not weird. The star seller badge does, people don't care. Etsy seems to be putting that as, you know, they're putting it on there a lot, but people are not clicking on it as much. It could be number one, that they don't know what it means. It could be that it's on too many listings. Again, if it's on every single listing, then it means nothing. So don't worry about it. And this next section will show you why you really don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, so that's what we were looking at here no badges gets clicked like a third of the time, which it's kind of significant. I thought it's like, you don't really need a badge to necessarily get clicked. We're looking, this is again, just looking at purchasers and only on page one again, a third of the time a listing is getting clicked on page one just because it's there and it doesn't have any badges on it. Right. That's pretty significant. So if, if sellers are convinced like, Oh my gosh, I'm not doing well. Cause I don't have the star seller thing, or I don't, have a sale going on or I don't have free shipping, <laughs> fear not, like there's still a pretty good chance that you're going to get clicked by someone who's making a purchase, which is a good thing. So yeah, you don't have to have a nudge. You don't have to have a badge. You don't have to have the star seller. People aren't valuing that as much as Etsy thinks they are. Best seller seems to be the best one, but we don't know what best seller criteria is being used by Etsy. They don't tell us that. No one's ever been clear about that. So if someone says this is what it means, then they don't know because Etsy hasn't told us. But best seller seems to be the more powerful motivator to get people to buy something. On the other hand, there's a whole bunch of people online who say, go to see what's the best seller and then copy it. So some people don't want the best seller badge. Etsy does tend to load up the badges. And on that chart, it said four and five badges. And I was like, they, they can't put that many. And they were looking at ads as a badge. So I actually did find one with four 
and one with five and that's a lot and when you have that much stuff on a listing it just all becomes meaningless like Richie said so thank you to Richie and Gordon for bringing that to our attention because I think it's interesting but I think the big takeaway here is that you don't need a badge 30 percent of the things that sold from the first page didn't have a nudge they didn't have a badge it didn't have anything so even though Etsy wants to load everything up, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to guarantee that you get sales, especially if that same badge is on everything, then it just becomes meaningless. You don't have to stress too much about it. I just thought it was interesting. Leave me any questions. Watch this video next, and I will talk to you later.